Hello and welcome to Bilingual Analytics. My name is Roland and today I'm going to talk about my journey with the DA100 analyzing data with Microsoft Power BI exam from Microsoft. I passed the exam in May 2021 and after I shared my results online, many of you have asked a couple of questions about the exam and about my journey. I try to answer all of them However, after answering a fair few, I felt like that it would be easier to record this video where I explain my journey in more details. So here it is. It is going to be more of a talking head video rather than jumping into Power BI. If you get something useful out of this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I post weekly videos and tutorials about Power BI, data visualization, and best practices. Thanks in advance. So, DA100. To be honest, I'm usually not a huge fan of certifications like this. I believe that many of these online exams cannot cover real life scenarios and have the potential not to measure skills that could be used in a business setting. And if an exam only measure theoretical knowledge, it may not be replicable in a practical scenario, if you know what I mean. However, I do realize that for many people, having a certification about their skills in Power BI is crucial to get a job or to progress in their career. And on that note, it is great that Microsoft realized that and they provide an opportunity for all to prepare and take this exam. Full disclosure, I have received a free exam credit or voucher from Microsoft for attending a training, so I thought that I should give it a try. There are so many smart people online posting about their DA100 success, and I wanted to join the club. Luckily, in Australia, there is an option to get certified via Pearson online exams, so I was able to log in from these very settings with my webcam and a very, very, very clean desk. But the tool walks you through all the steps you need to do beforehand, so don't worry about that part. It even provides a handy check your setup option. It's really great and easy to use. I had very limited time to prepare for the exam, so I decided to focus on the official Microsoft Learn materials. I haven't had time to attend any online courses such as Coursera or Udemy, or purchase the official preparation book from Daniel Mashuk. Links down in the, bit in the description below. If you are not using Power BI on a daily basis, or a newcomer to the tool itself, I would strongly suggest to get that book. I heard really good stuff about it and Daniel was the one who also prepared the book for the previous uh, 70778 exam. So he's quite knowledgeable. But what is that Microsoft Learn and what sort of materials do we have there? Let's head over to my PC so I can show you. Here we are on the official DA100 website. You can find the link for this website in the comment section below. Under the schedule exam section, you can find the skills measured part and below that the skills outline. I would encourage all of you who plan to sit for this exam to read through this PDF document. It provides a detailed guide on what's needed and you can compare your skills to what's listed here. This is exactly where I started. I read every single point listed here and tried to flag the ones where I felt good about and the ones where I knew that I still have some space to improve. I believe that if I know the exam structure, I can plan my preparation better. So once I knew the sort of skills that Microsoft measures with the DA100 exam, I had a really good plan of attack. Back to the DA100 site. Further down below, you can find two ways to prepare. Online prep for free, this is what I chose, or paid instructor-led preparation. 
Again, if you're a newbie, I would suggest more training and more preparation, as it is not an easy exam. But what I have done to get ready for the exam was going through every single one of these learning paths and modules. It provided a great opportunity to read again what's what, and to refresh my knowledge about some of the areas that I may not use or tackle on a daily basis. Let's select like the model data in Power BI learning path. Under this path, we have three modules, each covering different aspects of data modeling in Power BI. If we jump into design a data model in Power BI, you can find the summary and the learning objective on the top. Once again, this is a great way of understanding what's covered here and you can make the call whether you should do this or not. If we scroll further down, there are the topics covered and once you complete them, you get a green tick. It's also a nice way to monitor your progress. But the most important thing, or at least I believe the most useful tool during the preparation is those lab sessions on the bottom. Within these lab sessions, you have the option to access one of Microsoft's curated data sets and practice what you've learned in that section. If you're stuck at any stage, you can also find the solution within this environment as the final results are always saved in a dedicated folder. Most of the modules or learning paths contain some sort of a lab exercise and I strongly believe that these are the most useful bits in the Microsoft learning environment. You first read about the topic and then you can practice it for free. Once again, it is very useful and needed for those who only started their journey with Power BI or in case you don't or cannot use a certain feature in your day job. Because let's be honest, we cannot run all aspects of a BI project. Or, in other words, we cannot be the best of all topics. Of course, this only applies to larger company sizes. For a smaller company with very few data, we probably could run all aspects of a BI project. In Excel. <laughs> And I would like to address this here. Now that I have completed the DA100 exam, I believe Microsoft also recognized this. The exam is not trying to necessarily prove that you know nothing about a certain topic. I think it is focusing on the fact that you must be aware of the different aspects of the tool. In other words, if you know what's possible in Power BI, you could potentially find a solution by deep diving into that section. And there are so many amazing contents online and offline that you can use when you face those challenges. I can tell you honestly that because I cannot use Live Connect to a database in my day job, I would probably fail at the query folding challenge. Also, so far I have only deployed a single app. It doesn't mean that I know nothing about these topics, but obviously without practice, I wouldn't be able to answer very detailed questions about these fields. And I'm not even going to start on M language. To this day, I use the official Power Query M formula language documentation when I have to do a little bit more advanced M, especially if it is not listed on the graphical user interface. I would also say that you don't have to expect super duper advanced tax calculations and top notch data with challenges in the exam, but you have to know a little bit about everything. And by saying that, I realize that it may sound scary, especially if you have very limited experience with actual usage of Power BI. I would still say practice, practice, practice. In those learning paths, those lab materials are perfect for any newcomers. Those could help you to put your skills, Power BI skills, in practice. Especially if certain areas are new to you or not something that you can practice on a daily basis. For the IT folks, data viz and data analysis are the topics where you 
probably want to spend a bit more time. And for non-technical peeps, you need to spend a bit more time on data prep and data modeling. This is of course just my general recommendation and should only be used as a rule of thumb or general advice. But at the end of the day, just remember, we all have areas where we shine and topics where we can learn more and more. I think as long as you keep learning about Power BI or any other tool, you will be fine. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope that I could provide some insights into the DA100 exam. If you have any further questions, please let me know down in the comments below. I will try to address as many as I can. Stay tuned for more to come. See ya.